Hello, good people, and welcome. This is your boy again, Chris Sog. I welcome you again to this particular episode. Try as much as possible to support your guy, Chris Sog. Uh, we are on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we are on Twitter at Chris Sog Media Network. To the returning subscriber, welcome. And to those of you who are uh, yet to subscribe, please click the uh, subscribe button and open the notification bell icon on the side if this is what you are looking for, for the updated items of news, entertainment, sports, politics, and general happenings across the uh, globe. You are not destined for music. Focus your energy on cooking. This statement is coming from uh, actor Uche Maduago. We all are kind of fami familiar with this guy, actor Uche Maduago. That's the same guy that was actually uh, being punched by G. Mike just of recent uh, by saying that G. Mike should reveal his source of income. Uh, quite unfortunate, this time around, he has again jumped on White Money. White Money is the winner of season six, BB Niger, that's Big Brother Niger, the season six that have just been concluded. Uh, he's the winner. Um, and then uh, I think he tried to venture into music. And then Uche Maduagu has actually come out to say, you know what? Venture your energy, you know, spend your energy on what you know how to do best, which is cooking. There has been a lot of comments being thrown out on Instagram, WhatsApp, you know, Twitter and different kinds of angles that it is not your responsibility, it is not your duty to say to him what he has to venture into. Who are you to tell people what to do? So a lot of people have actually talked about this guy to say, you know, what is even wrong with this Uche Maduago that has been jumping on people's toes of recent, you know, people, some people were saying he's trying to, uh, you know, uh, gain popularity and all of that. You know, he has said that, but BB, uh, White Money himself is yet to reply to that particular statement he's made. But we will be following that back to back. And whatever is coming out from White Money with regard to this statement, we will definitely be bringing it out to you. But a lot of people have slammed Uche Maduago and tell him to shut up that he's speaking too much to people. He's been getting on people's toes lately. You know, a lot of people have said the whole thing boils down to him trying to gain popularity and to uh, gain attention. That is what he say. Remember the time he slammed, um, was his name, uh, was her name, uh, Tonto DK at the time. And then, you know, um, as well as G. Mike and a few other actresses and actors that he has, has spoken to and he has stepped on their foot, you know. So he's been slammed on this uh, particular one. Right, this is another one. This is a very serious one. You need to be very careful when you go to Itri, when you go to any joint of any kind. Uh, there has been a commotion at an Itri somewhere uh, when somebody was, a guy was accused, not was accused, because he was actually caught in the act of trying to poison his friend. You know, when you go to a joint with your friend and are the, in the middle of that particular uh, merit, you decide to go and have a pee, quick pee. So when this guy went to have a quick pee before he came back, his friend had already put uh, a poison inside his drink. And thank goodness there was somebody around that particular joint where they were who saw him when he was actually bringing out some stuff from his pocket to put inside his friend's drink. If not for that person, his friend would have died. Only God knows the reason why he actually wanted to kill him, you know. So guys, be very careful. Each time you go to joints and you are having... A drink a hope on drink make sure you said that you finish your drink before you go have a pee or you um have a pee before you drink just make sure you don't leave your drink behind while you go out to pee or to do something else don't leave your drink they are irrespective regardless of what kind of friendship you have with that person do not leave your drink behind this guy was beating black and blue to the extent that he had to be rushed to the hospital he was beaten till the police and the security operative had to, uh, they got there to actually uh, take him away to the hospital. If not, the guys around in the same pub, in the same uh, joint where they were drinking, nearly killed him, you know, for actually trying to kill his friend through poison. Though he was even vomiting, but they actually made him to kind of have a sip of that particular drink which he had poisoned to kill his friend. So guys, that's how difficult, that's how devilish, that's how wicked some people could be when it comes to uh, issues like this. Only God knows the reason. Maybe there's been some sort of uh, business transactions between two of them, and he actually wanted to eliminate his friend so he can inherit the money, can take the money. 
you know we've seen this kind of things happening all around the place you know so guys do not leave your drink behind it is really really dangerous your food your drink you know just be very very careful all right now a popular actress a well-known actress that has been uh decorating the face of nollywood for quite some time that's uh iretiola doyle you know what uh, she's on the screen already uh, very very good woman has actually uh released a statement to distance herself from her daughter's business. You know, one of her biological daughter owns a particular business. Um, as a matter of fact, that daughter, um, uh, Ugo, Ugo Zikachi Abimbola Onyelu, she is, the, she is the executive officer of the Kachi Beauty, you know, so this particular daughter of ours has been, uh, you know, in a way, has been reported to have been swindling people out of their hand-hand money. And because of this, a lot of people have been going to the mother thinking she's involved in that business. So the mother, which is uh, Retiola Doyle, has actually come out to release the statement to say, you know what, people, I am not into my daughter's business. I, as a matter of fact, I distance myself completely from the business so that people will stop to worry or to disturb her, to think she's part of the uh, business. As it was reported in March 2021, you know, that they alleged that she scammed unsuspecting buyers who joined a wholesale distribution. Many distributors accused her of collecting money from them and not supplying their products, and they called her for arrest. So she's been collecting money from people, you know, with the intention to supply them goods, she collects the money, but she doesn't supply them the good eventually. So that's more or less related to swindling people. So a lot of people have made comments with regard to this, and they have been calling the mother. They have been pulling, the, pulling her mother into this particular uh, incident. But the mother have actually say, said uh, in a statement that she is actually distancing herself. She has distanced herself from any business dealing that has got to do with that particular daughter of ours. Ugo Zikachi Abimbola Oyelu, that's the name of her daughter. So to the, everyone who thinks the mother is involved, she's not involved in the business. As a matter of fact, she's released a press statement, uh, which is disclaimer that she's not involved. So please do not think the woman is involved and do not accuse her of getting involved in any shady deals of any kind, most especially the one that has got to do with the current one that has to do with her, her daughter. Right. Quite unfortunately, uh, People refused to celebrate Osh Poppy's birthday yesterday, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, the birthday passes unmarked, as, as stated, uh, has been forgotten. As everyone, even including people who benefited from him, did not even wish him happy birthday yesterday. You know, a lot of people are like that. When you have, they eat with you. But when you run into problem, they run away from you. So this particular statement was actually made by Osai Ovi, that's Governor Okowa's aides, lament that a lot of people that have actually been dining and whining with Osh Poppy when he was not having problem, they couldn't even wish him happy birthday. You know, ordinarily, his birthday wishes, his birthday will have been marked on every social media platforms. But unfortunately, this one, nobody, will, did, did, nobody even said anything. None of the platform, uh, none of the social media platform actually carried the news. No birthday wishes of any kinds from any quarters. Quite unfortunately, so it's been lamented by uh, Osai Ovi. That's uh, Governor Kawa's aides said. You know, people did not even bother to wish him happy birthday. That's what you get. I mean, people are like that in general. There's nothing you can do about it. Once you have, they eat with you. But once you run into a small problem, they run away. They flee. Anybody can be in any predicament, they can be in any problem at any time. It doesn't mean that because Osh Poppy is found guilty or is found of this and that, that doesn't mean that is evil. We have quite a lot of number of evil people in, the, in, in power in Nigeria that we are here that have not been arrested. But because of Osh Poppy now, people think he's the devil incarnate himself. You know? What about the people in the house? What about people that have been stealing our money? What about people that have been sitting on billions of billions of billions of nairas and dollars and pounds, Nigerian money? That has put the country into that particular mess he is at the moment. What about them? Are they any different from Osh Poppy? Are they any different? No, they are not. But now we tag them as bad because it's been found culpable of fraud, you know. So it's quite sad, guys. I don't know. It's quite sad. But unfortunately, well, we we um we wish him a happy birthday, anyways, irrespective. He still celebrates his birthday. 
and um, you know uh, it's been lamented over so guys if you know you have benefited from it one way or the other say happy birthday be grateful to him at least he has made a quite a number of a number of you he has made you he has given you a lot of things you are he, he's made you what you are today try and send birthday messages to him right guys i don't know what your takes are on this particular headlines of today whatever it is leave it in the comment section all right let others learn from it let them see it. let them learn from it give us a like thumbs up and share this particular uh, uh, headlines if you like it. And they, if this is what you are looking for on a regular basis, we'll be coming most, uh, say every day, we'll be bringing you news headlines. If this is what you are looking for, why don't you go ahead and click the subscribe button and open the notification bell icon on the side so that you will be notified once we drop a new clip. And until next time when I'll be coming your way again, I am Chris from Chris Sog. Take care and have a nice day. Bye.